Hi Dan, so how would you summarise today's performance? Um, I thought the performance was good. I thought, yeah, I, I thought we played well today. Um, great response from last Sunday. The girls have been brilliant all week in training. We've worked on a couple of different things throughout the week as well that are very new. They've picked them up really quickly. Um, I think <laughs> we've had a chat about it at the end there. We've still conceded three goals today, which is a disappointment for us, and we've got to tighten that up. Um, but in possession, brilliant. Work rate off the ball was outstanding. Um, we've created loads of chances again. You know, probably should have been two, three, four at half time. Um, so, a couple of areas to tighten up on, but overall, really, really pleased with the girls. They're really pleased with themselves because they know they've put a shift in today. Um, so, yeah, all around pretty happy. You know, very important three points for us. Um, the girls look like they were really hungry for it. What do you think sort of drove them today for like? That win. Uh, listen, they're, they're a really motivated group anyway, um, but last Sunday hurt us, you know, we were way below where we wanted to be and just from like a pride perspective, we're not going to turn up every week and play our best football, um, the girls know that, that's a big sort of mantra of mine, but what we can do is turn up and compete and fight and work really hard, today we did that and I think that was a direct reaction of not meeting those standards last Sunday. So full credit to the girls, the staff have been unbelievable the last couple of weeks. Um, they've been right on it, um, everyone from Ali, the physio, who's done some fantastic work the last couple of weeks, through to the coaches, the S&C team, Harry and Eman have been brilliant. So we've just had a really strong, particularly this week, a really strong week from everybody, um, wanting to bounce back from the disappointment of last week. So do you think now this momentum will carry on onto next week, the Far Cup game? Yeah, I hope so. Like, like, like I, said, um, I said to the girls on, on Thursday night, we had a bit of a sort of a meeting and watched a couple of clips back and um, there's no panic on our side. Like the first three results in the league haven't been what we wanted them to be, absolutely. But the performances on the whole have been good by the, the chatting game. So there's no panic on our side. Just tried to restress that to them. Like, there's no, you know, we believe in what we're doing. There's been some really positive signs, and we've played well into the three games. Um, so I just tried to get that message across to them. They let go of all the pressure today, which was brilliant. There was a different feeling. The warm-up, there was good intensity, good noise in it, um, and we just came out and we, we played our games today. Some of the football was unbelievable. You know, the, the back. The back five, um, with the tier in there as well, was was, was incredible in, in terms of how they moved the ball around in, in tight areas, being brave. Um, I thought Liv Bartlett was outstanding again. She's growing every single week. Rebecca's come in and made her debut today, marked it with a goal, commanding performance. The full backs were excellent. Sophie Lee runs her heart out every week. Mira on the other side, another stellar game. And then Aria comes on and shows it up for us at the end. So I think in possession we're brilliant. We've just got a... I don't like conceding goals and we're, we're shipping too many at the moment and we have to, you know, we just have to switch on a little bit better in those key moments. Perfect. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And thank you. Thanks.